What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the IGN article talking about Mr. Freeze, and also, I guess for the first time, formally announcing the first factions that we have of the game, or I guess the second, if you don't count the Talons, or you do count them. But now we have Mr. Freeze, we have the Regulators, which is the faction that you're going to be fighting around Gotham that ties in with Mr. Freeze. So I want to kind of go over it. We'll show you some of the pictures that they had uh, designed, but I also want to just say really briefly, in the beginning there's no rhyme or reason to this ign first thing last week was monday wednesday this week is tuesday i don't know if it's tuesday thursday or maybe this is the only thing this week there is no video to go along with this it's only just writing it's just an article so i don't know how these first feature things work but i know they're all over the place so the article is pretty you know straightforward it goes over uh, mr freeze they talk about how they design the character um i i like the look of mr freeze in this game i really don't think there's anything wrong with with it whatsoever um nothing that's gonna like shock you or change your life in that way but then they go over the regulators so there's different like factions i guess within the faction i guess different classes right there's different classes of the villains there's brawlers shooters snipers shockers and drone masters and uh, they all look really really cool i'm really really impressed by them the thing you, you know you got to remember and, and i don't really hold it over the game because every game has this like they look pretty unique i'm really happy with like the art i'm really happy with how they you know the, they visually look like i feel like almost inadvertently they just confirmed right brawlers shooters snipers shockers and drone masters and those are part of the regulators the other classes right or the other factions so if uh like penguin wouldn't have one so say like say firefly has like a group of like a faction group that takes control of the city part of the city they are also going going to be very similar right not in their look their look will be different but like you know you're gonna have that sniper with like the long red you know line that you have to dodge at the last second or it's gonna take a lot of your health like you know every faction will have that you know what i mean that's and I, i'm not holding that against the game every game has something like that where you're gonna repeat uh enemy styles or enemy types even if they look different even if they're part of different groups or factions or whatever and the interesting thing that i found maybe the most interesting thing in the entire article is that they say that you're going to experience this enemy in random like areas of the world so it's not now they did say there is like a, a, almost specifically a mr freeze zone that his goons and these are his his group they have controlled so like when you go into that area of the map that is going to be heavily filled with regulators but you're going to be able to find them outside of just that area throughout the world i like that i actually like that a lot and i hope and i well not that i even hope i imagine we're gonna see that for the rest so if there's four factions that control it you'd have like you know those those four main areas you imagine that area is also the area we saw in the 2020 gameplay where they like freeze part of the city that's gotta be the normal area they take place in or they're they like uh they reside and then you're gonna fr they're gonna freeze that part of the city but i like that idea that you know the factions will have their own area it'll very much feel like the leader controls that area right because when you go into this area like oh these are mr freeze's goons this is clearly his area but at the same time you can find them in other places too just kind of you know wandering which i again i really really like that and i guess the only other thing they really mentioned in this and it was more of like a behind the scenes side story is they actually created these two things separate they create they knew they wanted mr freeze they created mr freeze and they also created this faction these regulators and then through the process process they realized oh they kind of look like him they kind of use or they like they design technology that would work with him they speak in ways that would align with like his ideas so they can so this group was not designed from scratch to be his faction group it was just a faction group but they realized that it made sense to tie the two together kind of interesting um i i don't know if that's how i would have done it i'd also like to know if that's how they went about all the fact i actually kind of feel like now that is how the other factions are right where it's like okay well these faction groups were created and then they align with scarecrow so we're gonna give give them scarecrow as like the leader we'll see how it goes but you know again if you count the talons then this is number two if you don't count the talons this is the first main uh faction group that we know of the game so let me know what you guys think make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on if you want to follow or support me anywhere else all my social media is in the description below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all on the next one